http www.bistrops.com Lizards and amphibians are becoming popular pets nowadays. Many people prefer to enter raise his or her instead of just purchasing one from the pet store. Should you be endeavoring to hatch a reptile egg in a reptile egg incubator, there are a few important procedures you need to know first. Choose your medium. The vital thing you need to do is choose a medium to rest the egg on as it incubates. It is a lot of dialogue over, is there a best substance to use for this? However the top two candidates are prolite or vermiculite, that will actually each work as well. Those two materials will expand within the egg to be certain proper airflow and stop all the biggest concern when incubating reptile eggs. Your medium must be most too. The general rule when determining proper medium water mixture is usually to permit the medium to have wet to the point where it's barely clumps, but so that it won't drip water if squeezed. Make an effort to maintain this consistency before egg hatch. S. Egg container. This next layer will help keep the egg and medium enclosed while within the incubator. You can decide if your container may have a lid or otherwise not, although working with a lid could affect your humidity. You should definitely examine the humidity settings for the incubator as well as set accordingly by what species you want to hatch. A tupperware works just great. Holes are to be punched inside it should you use it. Retile Egg Incubator Any properly made homemade or commercial incubator can do. For plans on how to make your own private egg incubator, see the link below. Just position the egg inside the medium in the middle of the incubator and hang the device to your settings as central to your distinctive varieties of reptile. Monitor your egg s closely, watching if they are too hot, too hot, too damp, too dry. If the eggs seem too wet and so are vulnerable to molding, get rid of the cover from your container and reduce water moistening in the medium. Eggs which might be too wet may begin to develop mold, and it eggs which have been too dry can start to collapse, not to be mistaken with a regular dimpling on the egg that occurs before hatching. Again, make sure you understand the specifications for your species. For more info about while using the egg incubator, choosing an egg incubator, building an egg incubator, or anything incubation related, view the website below.